Uh, what you just heard is the sound of a wife calling her husband at the husband calling contest. I want to apologize for all of this. This is great. At the Iowa State Fair, contestants go on stage to demonstrate the best and most creative ways to summon their partners. An eager audience packed the Pioneer Hall on Friday to hear the calls of various wives. And this year, the new champion was crowned. She even threw in some dance moves. It's something to laugh at. It like brings smiles to people's faces. It's very joyful. I mean, it's it's silly, and so it's just. I hope people. It brings a smile to their face. Yeah, the winner receives a shiny blue ribbon and bragging rights. Yep. Um, if you want more calling competitions, the Iowa State Fair also hosts a hog calling contest, a mom calling contest. Love it. And we just received this in. They are actually getting divorced because of this. <laughs> Uh, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I don't think she should have won. I think it was real. No, that was like some Broadway call. She was literally wearing tap yeah. shoes. What more could she have done, Pedro? But that's the thing. Is who in their house is wearing tap shoes and like, hey, honey, You did not grow up in like, my house. <laughs> we wore tap on. shoes a lot. The other one that was I yelling. I can't hear that. Hey, honey. Yeah, that, you know, who does that? <laughs> no one does that. It, it's Ethel Merman, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> that's where you just you know, have. Yeah, well, the Ethel Merman. I, I don't know. Hello. Hi. <laughs> that's what you're just trying to do. To me. I don't know. I see Very next year, we're gonna get you the husband, and then you're. You think yeah. I'm gonna get a husband within <laughs> now and next Iowa State Fair? Not nothing like Never that. Say. <laughs> yeah, nothing like you know that. What? At this point, I'll take what I can get. Let's get you outside. Oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Live look. Thank right. you for taking the weather camera so I can put myself back together. 72 degrees right now. Reading is heavy rain and there is still heavy rain in a part of our area. I'll get to that in a second. Temperatures low to mid 70s. We stay in the 70s today. So cooler, cloudy, breezy, humid. And right now, wet. We're actually looking a lot better for New Jersey and most of the lower Hudson Valley. But zooming in here where we have this new flash flood warning in parts of southern Westchester and Fairfield counties. So this means those drenching downpours are producing flooding. Whenever it's a warning, it means that the radar indicated rainfall totals are probably already uh, making that flooding happen. So this goes until 1230 this uh, afternoon. We zoom in, take a look at some of these cities. So from Rye, we're through Mamaroneck, up through Scarsdale, Greenwich, Stanford under this, Darien, New Canaan, up through Weston, Reading, and Monroe as far east as about Bridgeport, but even east of Bridgeport, we are seeing the heavy rain, but this outlined in green is where that flash flood warning is. As we zoom out, you can still see a really busy radar for parts of Long Island. Looks like the rainfall intensity has, has started to back off in Nassau County. That's good news because they saw drenching rain for most of the morning and scattered showers for Suffolk County. Looks like we got some rain in uh, Bergen County up through portions of Rockland, but the five boroughs are looking a little bit better. Just a few spotty areas of rain right now. Watching this area flow pressure in the associated front, that's headed our direction. It brings another round of heavy rain with the potential for flooding tonight. We also have Tropical Storm Ernesto this week into a tropical storm overnight, but it is forecast to re-strengthen as it heads north and east. Again, more than 600 miles away from us, but still bringing us some really dangerous conditions for our Atlantic-facing beaches. Rip current risk goes through tomorrow night. Waves today, four to eight feet through tonight. That means dangerous conditions just don't get in the water. I'm glad that the forecast doesn't support a beach day because we need to discourage everyone from actually getting in the water today. Uh, the four to eight foot waves can also contribute to some beach erosion, which is a major problem for our area. Coastal flooding also going to be an issue as we head toward high tide time tonight, up to about a foot of coastal flooding inundation. Also some flooding just given the rain that's fallen. So this is that flash flood warning we talked about, where we've seen most of the rain so far today, Long Island. But the flood watch for tonight is the majority of northern and central Jersey, as well as Sullivan, Orange, and Rockland counties. We also have a level two slight risk for severe weather in this portion of New Jersey, but the threat for thunderstorm activity across the board with the showers and storms that fire up tonight. So what we're looking at right now is actually a little bit of a lull through this afternoon. We stay cloudy, breezy, humid, and unsettled, but we'll get some dry hours come this afternoon for things like that parade and the Mets game that first pitch is 12.05. And then late afternoon, early evening, we're firing up the next round. We're concerned about training thunderstorms, which are storms that sit over one place and just dump the heavy torrential rain that can lead to the flooding, and the potential for that is in the forecast tonight. Then things settle down overnight to tomorrow morning. We'll get a touch of sunshine tomorrow afternoon, and scattered storms fire up again for Monday evening. Some of those storms linger into Tuesday morning, and from there we clear up 
out the forecast pattern and things look a whole lot better. But today it's awfully gloomy. We're in that lull right now. And then the scattered showers and thunderstorms do fire up again tonight. Temperatures today capped cooler just to the upper 70s, low 80s. So it is an AccuWeather alert day with the flood threat. Just be mindful of that. Heading into tomorrow, second half of the day, storms, some showers Tuesday morning. And then oh, look at that. Beautiful. We settle into a sunny stretch with low humidity and highs in the 70s and 80s. We'll be right back.